Please search warrant. In a staggering show of force, U.S. Marshals, FBI, the Sheriff's Office, ATF, ICE, Border Patrol, and Homeland Security spent the last three days running around Grant County rounding up gang members. It was codenamed Operation Basin Clean Sweep, been in the works for months, targeting a list of gang members with felony warrants. The day began in Moses Lake at one address, then another, looking for a violent gang member that no one police talked to seems to know. I didn't do nothing. I'm not here talking to them. People don't want to be snitches. They don't want to be rats. Uh, because they're afraid of they're afraid of retaliation against them. Better luck may be in Royal City, the place where just two weeks ago, a 10-year-old boy was shot in the head during a drive-by shooting. Police, search warrant! The blue trailer is the home of this man. You want to get a real mother hey, 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 me. Edgar Sanchez. He's in the country illegally. He's also a local Sereno gang member. Edgar told me he walked right across the U.S. border, swears he's not a gang member, though. But inside, police find this stolen gun, marijuana, cash, pills, and gang paraphernalia. This SS stands for Southside Locos, a segment of the Sereno's gang. Then it's on to Mattawa, a hive of gang activity, a place where gang members have repeatedly threatened law enforcement. Inside this blue trailer, police find George Sosa. They say Sosa is a known Sereno and was involved in a recent run by shooting, perhaps retaliation for these bullet holes in his house. His house has been shot at before. Blue is the color of the Sereno's gang. Just steps from blue shirted George and his blue trailer, a tagged number 14, the sign of the rival gang, Norteños, and a sign of a larger problem. It's consumed the South County of Grant County. After more stops in Mattawa and Beverly, police go to another trailer park to find another gang banging felon. And again, as day turns to night, whether it's intimidation or protection, no one seems to know where he is. Well, it's extremely frustrating. I mean, the way the law works, in order for us to have a crime, we have to have a victim. And if people don't want to be victims because they're afraid of retaliation, we don't have a case. But then on the way to check out yet another address, something out of the ordinary. A young man walking across a desolate flat toward law enforcement. It's a 15-year-old boy, a known gang member who's been the target of at least one drive-by shooting. He says he's just out for a swim at 10 o'clock at night in completely dry clothes. There's something kind of warm back in there. Nothing moving, but just something, uh, just a hot uh, object. A WSP surveillance plane using heat sensing technology saw that the kid ditched something in some trees when he saw police and alerted cops on the ground. After a search that lasts a few minutes, police find this, a stolen four-wheeler, still warm. The juvenile system is, it's broken. And you know, these, these kids know that as long as they don't commit a felony, then the only thing we can do to them is give them a ticket and take them back to mom and dad. On Monday alone, police arrest 15 felony gang members, many of them illegal aliens, all police say dangerous. It's just rampant. In three days, this Grant County gang blitz netted around 35 alleged gang bangers. Our goal today was to take some of the most serious felons off the streets of Grant County. And in some small way, reclaim these small towns overrun by thugs. Those were some pristine places and, and uh, places that were sought to go live in. Uh, not now.